Welcome, man, people. My name is Silent Chain. I'm going to show you guys how to rig a two handed weapon to your character. So, first up, I just grabbed this model from CG Trader and I'm going to apply the transforms object. Go to apply all transforms. And for the purposes of this tutorial, make sure the item is one object. And okay, so that's all good to go. So, now what I'm going to do is go into my existing rig, I'm going to hit tab. And I'm going to hit uh, Shift A to create a new bone here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make three bones for the sword. Scale this down. So I'm going to have a root bone. So let me go into Control Tab again, go into Pose Mode, just make sure uh, I want that to be at the bottom. I'm going to uh, Shift E to duplicate this bone. Kind of scoot it up here and then shift E again. Uh, generally, just put it where you want the hands to go. So I'll put that one here. In this case, the pivot point is at the bottom. Okay, so let's go back into edit mode. I'm going to select this first bone here and then the last bone. We're going to control P to create a parent. And then we're going to select the top one, select the bottom one, control P, same process. And it is important to make sure, uh, specifically in Blender, to select the child, then the parent. Okay, so now let's just double check our work here. So as you can see, the root bone is moving these two bones. So that is working. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach the sword to this root bone here. So I'm going to select the sword, select the rig. I'm going to go Control Tab to go straight into pose mode. We're going to hit Control P. We're going to give it a bone parent as we don't have to do any weight painting for this. So now let's double check. As you can see, this is working good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach these hands to these existing bones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. We're just going to do this through bone constraints. So what I'm going to do is just select the bone, go to bone constraint, add a child of. And we're just going to select the rig. And then this is bone two. So we'll just type in bone two here. And we'll hit clear inverse, set inverse. This just, uh, just in case there's some weird positioning values going on. And then for the second hand here, we're going to do the same process. So we'll do bone constraint, child of, select the rig. And then this is bone one. Same process, clear inverse, set inverse. So now, as you can see, if we move the root, it moves both hands. And if we need to adjust it, uh, per se, you can do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pose this hand here. Okay, so now we have our character with uh, kind of both hands generally in the position. So now, as you can see, when we move it, it moves both hands, and both hands are intact. Now, if you wanted to make this a switch to where, let's say, like one hand wanted to drop off, all you would need to do is go to the hand, and then you see this little influence thing here, you just kind of turn this off, and then it turns off the parent. So what you can do is you can add a driver to this, and then add a custom property to have a hand attached to sword, and a, a hand to detach from the sword. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next video.